Hey group, it is time for another project, and this one's gonna be big. Back here behind me is a 690D John Deere excavator, and she's about 50,000 pounds. It's taken quite a bit to put her back together because uh, this is a loner. This is networking at its best. A neighbor had her out in a field for about seven years not being used, and so I'm little by little changing out all the seals, all over the arms, hydraulic hoses, alternator, battery system, and everything else pretty much as it disintegrates. Uh, it's an old machine, but it'll do the job. So uh, it's gonna be an adventure. Now this project is going to be building ponds, putting in swales, changing up the land just a little bit, make it so that uh, it retains more of the rainwater uh, so that I can put some fish populations in and then I can plant more fruit trees, nut trees around those areas where I have the water. So this is going to be a transformational thing, uh, especially increasing the productivity of my food forest. So if y'all have seen my foraging videos, this is going to increase what is possible. So this big machine, and uh, this is going to be the first of at least five ponds that I have planned out. So I want to go ahead and take y'all along on this, show you what it's all about. And uh, yeah, y'all tell me what you think. Let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, I'm fire this thing up. Go ahead and show y'all around this first pond. I did dig a test pit here about a week ago. I wanted to see how far down the clay went, and uh, got like three, four foot of clay before I hit sand and clay and mixture. So not bad. But this is the first step, first pond, and this is only the uh, the first part of that. I want to make this pond absolutely humongous here in about a year, year and a half when I have maybe a loader or a uh, dump truck. So we'll see. All right. Oh, pond number one and a puppy dog. All right, so I dug this out right here. This took six, seven minutes to do, and it was very wet when I did so. And uh, the clay did not want to come out of the bucket. Uh, where I'm dumping this today is gonna be this small berm right out here. It goes all the way down here. I'm gonna make it wider where you could actually probably drive a truck on top of it. So hopefully this goes fairly fast. And uh, if y'all like videos like this and these ponds go really well, I should be able to get a bulldozer or rather a, a loader and a dump truck out here to be able to make this into an absolutely huge pond. This would be the big one. This is down next to the river and there's a lot of space over here. It's usually very marshy. So a pond is a, a good thing to have in this area. We'll see. You ready, Huck? You ready? Let's go work. Got a limp. Go fix that, bud. All right, winds pick it up. Let's go ahead and get this thing started.
My dad's come out here with the tractor. It's the old blue Ford 4000 with the shredder on it. And he's cleaning up the field. So it's going to get kind of a facelift. I will show you when it's done. But there's always something to shred out here. And it's about to be growing season. So uh, I might as well knock down the weeds before we get new weeds. All right, back to work. Start it up again and then do some work here on the berm. But other than that, the vehicle seems to be keeping up. And we're making a lot more progress than I thought we would. So, pretty excited. First pond. What over, Huck? Try and figure out why Huck is limping as well. So, other than that, let's go get some sleep and we'll see you all in the morning. Day two of the pond dig. Now, we go ahead and put a little bit of fluid in this beast. Uh, we got a 10 gallons of diesel here and also a little bit of water for the radiator. Whenever this uh, machine does break, which it will, some of the seals are going to go out. I'll go ahead and take the radiator off and that way I can get it worked on pressure tested, all that good stuff. But till then, just keeping the water topped off. Let's get started. radiator typically takes about two and a half gallons a day. gallon tank. It's a pretty thirsty machine.
digging. I just lost a seal on the boom arm. First scoop. All right, hey, come on down, bud. Good boy. And we were pretty sure this was gonna happen. Uh, they're all disintegrating, and I have all the parts to go ahead and fix that. So, uh, we don't wanna lose any fluid. Yeah, that's leaking. I'm gonna go ahead and try and finish up this berm over here. Because I imagine if I can get the boom arm high, it won't come out and won't leak. But uh, we don't want to lose oil. We don't want to contaminate the earth. And the stuff's expensive. So the next video and the continuation of digging this pond is going to uh, have me fixing this arm and a few other issues. Gives me an excuse to change out the radiator, I guess. Let's go on down to the bottom of the uh, tank here. And show you what we've gotten done thus far. Yeah, it's gonna be like this for a little bit with the seals. It's all good, all the machine, she'll work. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, finish up the day.
group. So I took an hour, hour and a half long lunch break. Went ahead and changed the nasty shirt out. But uh, yeah, that wind blew in a storm. Y'all can hear the rain on what's left of the roof here. Check this out. All right, so I am in the middle of some crazy clay out here. Again, four or five foot of clay. So I need to move this thing to some high ground. I can do no more with it until I change out the seals. So it's time to move this thing, get it out of here before I can't. All right, so let's go ahead and start it up and uh, wish me luck. Okay. It's getting wet. Two months, finally got rain. Let's do this thing. The excavator is parked. The rain is coming down pretty hard. This is the most we've gotten in close to three months. So it is definitely needed. It should look like a jungle out here right now. Uh, it's been a very, very dry spring. So I got the excavator to a, a dry spot, a high spot. This place rarely goes underwater. It's got a little bit of sand in the soil. It's back here where y'all saw that uh, that deer blind earlier. So it's the, the only high ground for half a mile. So this is where we're going to go ahead and work on it for the next video. And I will see you then, I guess. Throw some comments down at the bottom. Tell me what you want to see. Tell me what you didn't like seeing. And uh, I'll make it happen. Because again, first of at least five ponds. Y'all give me ideas. Thank y'all. Love y'all. Like, subscribe. And as always, till next time. Oh. All right. <laughs> oh. oh, man. And it's clay, guys, so I'm already skidding. <laughs>